Hi, my name is Jeff Jacob. I'm the director of the IP Hardware PLM team here at Nokia. Today we'll do a quick review of some of the new enhancements that we have that are being introduced on the 7950 XRS. Beside me I have an XRS 20E. We have already released two pluggable line cards here. This is a 24 port 100 gig card supporting 24 ports of QSFP28. Here we have a CFP8 card that's also already released supporting 400 gig clear channel. The two new pluggables that we have this year include 12 ports of QSFP 56DD that can aggregate up to four tera of capacity in any single slot in the XRS20E. And here below we have six ports of 200 gig CFP to DCO uh, using a single FP4 complex. Again, some nice additions to the 7950 XRS in terms of port options to be able to connect into the platform. We continue to invest in power in the XRS. So two new Apex here that I have that include a dual input uh, AC as well as a dual input high voltage DC APEC. There are some great savings to be had by adopting high voltage DC as a power standard. And that's illustrated with the two sets of cables that I have here. This is 12 pairs of cable that support uh, eight gauge cabling here connecting into the HVDC APEC. And then here the same 12 pairs of cabling uh, with two gauge wire, there is a tremendous savings to be had just in terms of copper alone when it comes to looking at that new power standard. Again, continued investment in the 7950 XRS uh, to enhance the product portfolio.